Welcome everybody to Curling Stadium, Alberta Curling Series Major, presented by Co-op. We're streaming from the Curling Stadium Leduc inside the Leduc Curling Club. This is an A qualifier. First and between Iku Kitazawa and Casey Scheidegger. Kitazawa won the draw to the button after practice and has hammer here in the first end. And it's been a real simple one so far. Lead Taylor McDonald for Casey Scheidegger had first rock come into the rings and it's been exchanging hits ever since. So a little bit late uh, on the start time today. That's just a, a tight draw schedule. All the games going uh, full games just put everything behind a little bit. They do give uh, teams a little bit of a practice. And here we are starting at uh, five o'clock. Winner of this game, this A qualifier, uh, will, will sit out tomorrow and will get the bye all the way to noon to the semifinals on Sunday. So a big reward for the team that wins this game. The loser of this game, however, will go right back on and uh, they'll drop to the B side. This is a, a triple knockout. And uh, Jesse Hunkin is waiting for the loser of this game and the B side. So a long day for one of the teams and uh, really happy to be uh, calling this game. I am Joan McCusker. I'm also team shy diggers coach. And so that's how you've got me here on the curling stadium live as uh, I'm watching and coaching and pleased to be promoting Team Shy Digger and their sponsors on this live stream. Love the curling stadium format. I can also tell you the other A qualifier, two teams come out of the event, is right next door. You might get a couple peeks out of that game, and I'll keep you updated as we go along. Uh, but that is Unji Gim taking on a Corinne Brown over on the right next door. So uh, beauty about... The live stream is that you can actually pick up that game as well on Curling Zone, flip back and forth. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it because, of course, you know, you got your favorite team here, Team Shy Digger, playing. So, uh, Jesse Hyen taking care of the guard. Kind of a wide open end here to start. So, let me tell you a little bit about this Kitazawa team. They... they are from Nagato, Japan. And uh, of course, that's a special place in my heart um, because I played my Olympics there. But you know, I looked it up and Iku was only, uh, I think she was only two years old when that happened. So I'm pretty sure that I did not inspire her. Uh, but she has actually skipped this team and they were at the Japanese rep at the World Championships two times, 2019 and 2022 and that last campaign in prince george in 2022 they actually had to withdraw because team members came down with covid during the event and they were unable to to uh uh continue they weren't the only team there that that happened to scotland also had to withdraw but when i looked back in the records for their their first appearance at worlds in 2019 was most of this team, and they had a very respectable 6-6 six and six record in 2019 at the World Championship. So this Kitazawa team is a good one, and I expect a really, really good game. Um, this year, they have played in two events. One was in Hokkaido, and they got some points in Japan for that. And then they were just playing last weekend at the Savile Shootout uh, in Edmonton, they made the quarterfinals. So they've got some some points already towards this season. That same Savile event, Team Scheidegger was at. And uh, that was their first event of the season. And they made it to the semifinals before losing to Rachel Holman. So both teams have a, an event under their belt and looking to build here in Leduc. So Team Kitazawa looking for the corner guards and Team Scheidegger peeling away. And this is uh, the new members of Team Scheidegger. They put together a two and two situation, two members from Laura Walker's team 
has have joined Casey Scheidegger and her sister Jesse Hyan, who plays second. Not two members is is Kate, formerly Cameron, just got married, now is Kate Hogan, and lead Taylor McDonald. So this is third, Sena Nakajima. And you'll watch that uh, Sena Sena will call the game, and that has happened for a couple of years and throw other positions in this particular situation. She's throwing third. So coming into the rings and now Casey Scheidegger will look to, to hit and stick on her first here. Taylor McDonald trying to hold the line on this hit and stick. And that's one thing that the team talked about in between games, having played at 10 o'clock today, was how effective the brooms are, that they're able to tighten up the ice a little bit on some of their shots because the brooms can hold the line. Now, it's not always the case depending on what kind of ice surface and, and rocks that you get. But here in Leduc, uh, they're very pleased with the effectiveness of the, of the broom. Let's see if they can hold the line too. And very similar. So when you have ice conditions like this, that with that hit, the brooms can hold it straight. You'll see teams bring down their hit weight. And they'll get quieter and quieter as they break down the ice. Um, nice and soft weight. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. As you can see, there is that little rock just outside the, the back of the house that you, you certainly don't want to come across the face and, and jam on that back one and give the, the easy shot for two. This is keep it simple. Get rid of this, this rock and try to hit it on the high side. Would love to stay fully in the rings, however. And you can tell that Casey must have been thinking that same thought that she didn't want to be too cute on that. Hit and rolled out. So this will be a throw through from Teen Kitazawa from Japan. So they'll pick up a spot on the ice that perhaps they haven't seen and uh, throw some sort of control weight. Pretty simple first end. Not what I was expecting. I think we'll see a few more rocks in play in the next end. I, I'm expecting Team Scheidegger to throw the guards. Center line.
Just keeping it clean all the way through. And that is a blank end to start things off, folks. So don't go anywhere. I'm sure we're going to have more rocks and play in the second end. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your stream curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Perfectly done, moving that guard off and rolling into the rings. I'm not surprised. These, these teams from Japan are very precise in their shot making. So Jesse Hyen will try to play the hit and roll. And lie too. And then the problem for Team Scheidegger is that they're playing around a corner guard. That's pretty nice. Nice little roll. And keeping a lot of space in between those two. But as you can see, the call from Team Kitazawa is the hit and roll. 
go in behind that corner guard. So not quite over there, in case he doesn't want to have anything to do with that corner guard. You should like to just split the rings and lie too. So they, these are really, um, you know, it seems very simple, but there's actually quite a lot of pressure in these in this kind of situation. If, if Jesse noses this, then there would be a double or a hit and roll behind that corner guard, and Kitazawa would be set up to get her two points. If she rolls out, Kitazawa can just do a straight draw around that corner guard. Going for that roll. Just ran a little bit straight for Jesse. She certainly didn't overthrow that. That was really nice weight. It didn't curl up enough, and as I predicted, Kitazawa is coming around that corner guard. So I'm going to get a watch on this and give you a hog to hog time. It's been lovely ice here. At the Leduc Curling Club, sliding fast. So that's a 14-6. 14-6 hog to hog. Looks like it's about T-line. Stays for a shot stone, but it's at the back. Kate Hogan will be asked to freeze down to that. So sliding a little bit too deep for uh, Team Kitazawa. This looks strong just by the release and the fact that the sweepers are backing off. There's Taylor trying to make it curl, but uh, no, that's a that's a 12-3, just way too heavy for this shot. So now we got trouble for Team Shy Digger. Kitazawa can put another one in there, keep it top eight foot and Setting up for a big score here. You know, if they make this one perfect, they're set up for three. This one appears to be sliding pretty good, too. I think it's going to hang around in the back of the house. I got a 14-7 on this one. So that's a mistake. The first time, first one behind the T-line, you can forgive the player. But the second one, that one is definitely a mistake. Now Casey Scheidegger indicating that she wanted to to move one of those rocks through the rings. It's better, but this is just really not moving over there for Kate. Oh, that worked out okay. 
late movement got that rock over to be shot stone and sit in front of the the red and you can you can see that there there's only oh about six inches or so between those two rocks so Kitazawa calling for a nose tap back very similar to Kate Hogan try to get all the way to the face of this and and create a little bit of a tap between this rock throne and the two behind it. So moves things around, but uh, it is Scheidegger that is second shot. They're just trying to see who is third. Yeah, you see all the, those broom movements. And I, and I will tell you here in this uh, little broadcast booth off to the side of the ice, I do not have access to players' mics. I can't hear them. You might be able to hear them at, at, at home when they you pick up some of the live mics that are on the ice. Uh, the players do not wear player mics at the Curling Stadium. But there is some uh, some of the noise from the ice surface. So all of those uh, broom movements, I, I would suspect that Team Scheidegger is not trying to, to roll in behind that corner. It would create a wall for Kitazawa just to draw down into. So trying to make the shot stone disappear and stay in that eight foot for second shot would be the call. I think that's pretty good. I don't think there's a double there. Chad Digger is sitting the two points for sure. And Kitazawa with last rock here can just... They can certainly get shot stone and get mostly behind the corner guard. They're going to be forced at this point anyway, so might as well try to get one that is mostly buried with all of those rocks behind the T-line that might jam. So calling, this is a good call. Draw in behind the corner guard. Needs a bite of the forefoot to be shot stone. It's a pretty fast spot here. Some of the uh, draw times I was getting, that 14-7 was going to the, the back eight foot. Pretty nice line here. This is not heavy. 15-3 is the watch I have on it. That was a good looking shot. They just needed to stay on the sweep on that shot and it would have been completely buried. So Scheidegger has shot stone in that back of the house. And the one delivered by Kitazawa is second. Very uh, difficult shot to remove that and not jam in some way. She can pick it out, just hit a thin slice of it and get rid of it and still be sitting her first and, and second actually looks even third at the top of the house, maybe. I 
you certainly wouldn't, wouldn't want to uh, curl up on this and jam it on the back. And that guard out front looks like it would prevent that from happening. So the call is just to get rid of this counter and force Kitazawa to take one here in the second end. Looks like she's got a corner of it, like that. Oh no. Well, that changes things, takes out her own, picks out the shot stone, but takes out her own counter on the side. But I think fortunately for, for Casey, I don't think Kitazawa can Remove the back yellow that's shot stone. I think this is just a draw for one. It would be nice for Shy Digger to just pick that out clean, put a little bit more pressure on Kitazawa. But as it stands, it's a draw for one. Well, they're working this one. She was 15-3. was her first draw. They got to the top eight foot. This one, it looks light. 15-7, a lot lighter. Well, that's a pretty good sweep, and I think they did it. We'll take a look. I think that is 4-1. It is Kitozawa scoring in the second end. It'll be one to zero after two ends of play. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.
a guard in play. And Team Kirazawa making her pay. I think that's Hazumi Ish Ishiguka that uh, makes the beautiful hit and roll behind her own centerline guard. It's a lovely start for Team Kitazawa. And now Taylor McDonald will try a tick shot. Really wants to stick around in for a corner guard would be ideal here in this situation. This one over curling. Let's see if that rock does not hit the boards. So that means the everything will stay in play. Nothing has to be reset. So Team Scheidegger has a corner guard. There's the good news. So second, Minori Suzuki try to throw a tight guard on that uh, shot stone that's in the back forefoot. So right where the skip's broom is, that's where they want it. Just super fast ice. You can see those sweepers aren't being used very much on these, these early draws. Rock sliding very quickly. Casey okay, so Scheidegger looking for a big weight. Run back. Would like to get rid of the guard and the rock in the rings. Oh, so close. Just missed the rocks in the rings. It was a great call. Just needed a an inch or so to catch that one in the back. But two corner guards now for Team Scheidegger. This is something for them to work with. Looking for a multiple score. And Suzuki will just try to replace that tight guard and protect her rock down the center line. And this is over curling. So there's a break for Team Scheidegger. A rock slides off of the center line and they'll have a chance to get at shot stone and start to perhaps build towards one of the corners. So I would really like to hit and roll towards the corner, but keep the shooter in play. And I have mentioned this before, it seems so easy from, from here as a spectator, it's, oh, just hit and roll. Hit and rolls are very difficult. The broom needs to be in the right place and the correct weight thrown as well as sweeping it at the right time. And this one is over curling. So instead of a roll, it's just a nose hit. And now third, Sena Nakajima will try the the hit and roll and they, they don't want to go to the corner. They want to try to hit and roll behind their own guard down that center line. This is a good looking shot. They want it to curl a little bit. And it does, very nicely done. Gets that little roll. So Casey's changing tactics a little bit, not seeing enough of that rock 
to make the roll towards the corner. She's asking Kate Cameron just to tap it back so that uh, Team Scheidegger would have shot stone and there'd be a little protection behind it so it couldn't be removed. So changing tactics, no more hit and roll, looking for a tap back here from Kate Hogan. Lots of line. This needs to fully cross center line. There it goes. And she taps it right through. It was well done. I think uh, thrown a little safely. They could have played that with a little bit less weight and kept that, that red stone at the back as protection. So Sena Nakajima will try to tap this out herself. It's got really good line. Just fantastic weight control. Just enough to move that rock through the rings and gets a little roll. So now I don't think there's any choice. Uh, Casey Scheidegger needs to play a little bit more aggressively and that is uh, a little softer weight here from third Kate Hogan and just tap this back wants to have shot stone but keep the red stone as a little catcher in the back eight is she by the guard no Good sweep to follow that one and get second shot. But the bad news is it's second shot. And look at uh, guards are still in play. Iku Kitazawa can throw a guard up. And it'll be very difficult for Casey Scheidegger to get to this shot stone. So you can see that lineup of guards the red, yellow. That is there, of course, if this guard is, is not in the way. It's just not an easy shot at all. Looking for a guard here. Great situation for Kitazawa. Could set up for a steal. That does the trick. You know, the masterful part of that that guard is that it takes away that double run back as well. So Casey's going to hit that guard. And uh, might be able to redirect off of the, the back of that yellow. Hoping to send it straight back and get that shot stone moving.
not bad at all. Clears up those guards. Does leave the redstone as shot. But got rid of that double guard situation. And what I mean by that is that now this rock could be accessed from either turn. And before the shot stone was so covered on one side that the guard didn't have to be that accurate to cover the path. So this, this guard needs to be very close to being online to not allow Casey Scheidegger a soft weight tap back for two. So let's see if uh, Iku Kitazawa can put this guard a tight to the rings and perfectly in line. You can watch this line. They'd like it to get it all the way to the center line and almost completely cross. So we've got great weight. Will it stop? And just over curls a slight amount. There is a shot there for Casey Scheidegger to get two here in the third end. A little bit farther out than what they were playing earlier in the end. These soft weight when Kate Cameron was trying to play tap backs, the shot stone was about a foot off of the center line. So this is a slightly different spot. But still, they should know it well. Just needs to throw back line weight. Needs shot stone to get fully into the back 12 to get to. Big shot here for Casey. They don't want this to cross the center line until after the guard. Do they have it past the guard? They do. Beautiful. Really good shot. And uh, that's how you get two folks. Beautiful shots by uh, Casey Scheidegger, her first, to open up an opportunity. And then that second, the great tap back for two. 2-1, two Scheidegger leads after three ends of play. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.
in number four of the Curling Stadium, Alberta Curling Series Major, presented by Co-op from the Leduc Curling Club. Welcome back. This is an exciting game. Team Scheidegger making uh, the most out of the opportunity to get two in the third end. Kitazawa trying to throw that corner guard, but it, it just went a little bit too far. And because it's biting the rings, Taylor McDonald can make a play on this stone. Really fun. I've been informed that this game is going out to Curling Stadium, Japan, with Japanese language commentary on the Japan Curling Channel. So welcome to those guests. Cheering on Kitazawa. We are in the fourth end of an eight end game. It is the A qualifier. The winner of this game goes straight to the semifinals and they get a break from the curling. And that semifinal is noon on Sunday. The loser of this game, however, will go straight back on on the very next draw tonight in the B event. It's a triple knockout format. So you'd have to lose three times to be out. Here is Minori Suzuki throwing a corner guard. Corner guard in the free guard zone cannot be removed yet. It can be removed, however, after this stone is delivered. So Team Scheidegger just figuring out where they want this stone. Do they want a tight guard or do they want to bump one of these rocks to a better position into the forefoot? So I think that they decided that the guard was the call. Trying to get it tight to the rings. It's pretty good. You know, over curls just a little bit and opens up a hit and roll here for Kitazawa if they choose. So indicating board weight that they, they would hit and roll towards the center line. I, I kind of like hitting to roll, hitting and rolling towards the corner guard. So I'm trying to roll towards the the other yellow stone on that center line is the call. As I said, I think I I like rolling towards the corner guard. Didn't get either roll, so Team Scheidegger is happy. In case he doesn't mind the, the hit on the nose to try to block the draw around the corner. So Jesse Hyen just trying to hit and stick right on the nose of this redstone. Just like that. Pretty nice. So now the call for second Minori Suzuki is the clean up down the middle. So looking to double these two yellow stones off down the middle. Just misses the second one. That would have been a great shot to clean those up. But uh, 
didn't make contact, and so Shy Team Scheidegger is just going to keep clogging down the middle here. So the goal for Team Scheidegger right now is is keep coming to the middle and eventually they'd, they'd like to force Kitazawa into a difficult shot for one. They're okay with Kitazawa getting one point. It would be a tied game and they would have Hammer with four ends to go. So that's kind of the thinking right now is let's just keep pressure on the middle. Now this, this rock got a little farther out there. Sweepers had to sweep it to try to get it towards the center line. So I don't know if that was Kate that uh, got a little bit wide on that draw or whether it was just a little too much ice. But she didn't cover up this shot stone. And third, Sena Nakajima can now hit and stick and be shot. And that was a perfect shot. That soft weight, well swept. So they actually got a little curl behind the guard. Perfect. So decision time for Casey Scheidegger. Play the little run back on their own guard. Or do they try to play that soft weight? And Kate's asking, how far is it in between those two rocks and that's the indication from Casey showing how her how far it is between the guard and the red stone so just the smallest of errors on Kate Hogan's guard has created this situation pressure on her to make this run back This has got a curl to make the right angle work. And it does not. So mistake, two mistakes back to back from uh, Kate Hogan. Gives opportunity for Kitazawa set up for two. Trying to draw another rock, but deep into the rings on the open side. So there isn't an easy double for Casey Scheidegger on her first. So early sweep on this. Gotta go. 15-9 is the what my watch says. So we'll get it in the rings, but those rocks will be grouped together. In case you can play the hit and roll. She's got a lot of room. Can roll anywhere on that side of the, the ice. Or try to play this the double. The double is hard. It's a very it's quite a steep angle. So Kate just lining up the, the roll. I think we're gonna see a, a bumper weight hit and roll across the face. And Casey Scheidegger will try to roll underneath those two guards, her own yellow and and the uh, redstone at the top of the rings. Yeah, 
So Casey had a couple of good ones last end to set up her team's chance of getting two. She's going to need a good one here to prevent Kitazawa from getting two. Looking for the roll, remember? Oh, what lovely shot again, Casey. Great call from Kate Hogan. Those are that's all about the person in the in the rings knowing the weight that's thrown and anticipating a break point. So uh, a great team shot there. Oh, and there's Iku Kitazawa lining up the bit of a angle raise on her own. She could try to run the guard back. So there she is, is lining that up. So going to raise her own redstone, try to Drive it directly on to the shot, Yellowstone. And depending, she's taking a lot of ice here, so she's throwing this softly. And the hope here for her is that the rock that, that she's throwing, the shooter, might just stay in play over on the side where the broom is. Trying to hold the line. Just not enough weight to remove it, but sitting shot stone, and as you can see, it's a, it's a tight little port between those guards. Not a lot of room. Casey can just see enough and these are tricky not easy but believes that there's enough room that she can get between those two top stones and get to the shot her other choice of course is she could try an angle raise on her own yellow i think she's uh, more comfortable coming down the middle needs to curl up to the center line no brooms on it yet Beautiful. That is a confident Casey Scheidegger, folks. She did not have very much room between those guards, uh, but put that broom down and threw the perfect weight that it uh, curled up enough to be sitting first and second shot. So it, Iku Kitazawa now has to follow her through that port, but end just for one point here in the fourth. Tricky shot for one, but a chance to tie it up. Same thing, needs to start to curl up to that center line. It's pretty close. By the guard? Yes. <laughs> a couple of excellent shots there by the skips. And uh, Kitazawa will score her point coming through the port 
And this game is all tied up halfway through 2-2 after four ends of play. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. It's the second half of the A qualifier at Curling Stadium, Alberta Curling Series Major here in Leduc. This event presented by Co-op. And we've got a great game. Beautiful shots made by both Casey Scheidegger and Kitazawa. As the game tied up with Team Scheidegger now having Hammer. Started the game with Kitazawa with Last Rock. And now Team Scheidegger with that last rock advantage as we go into the second half. My name is Joe McCusker. I'm a curler from the past. I do a little broadcasting for Sportsnet Grand Slam of Curling. And I'm also the coach of Team Scheidegger. This is uh, now my second cycle. So the new Team Scheidegger, Casey and... Her sister, Jessie Hyen, have now joined forces with two members of Laura Walker's team from the past. That's Kate Hogan on the uh, sweeping and lead Taylor McDonald. Looking for a corner guard. There's Casey stamping her foot. Make that rock stop. That has been a problem so far for Taylor McDonald is that first rock. Seems to want to glide a tiny bit, and it's been heavy a few times, but that one is, is good. Nice corner guard. 
And now lead Hasumi Ishiguka will try to come around her center guard. Get one in that top four foot area. There is another A qualifier going on at the same time. I can tell you that it, uh, it's a little bit lopsided right now. Unji Gim is uh, up six to one on Corinne Brown. So looking like Gim may be the other qualifier through the A. Taylor McDonald trying to tap back this stone in the rings. Well done. So two good ones there for Taylor. And I spoke about this in the earlier broadcast, but uh, kudos to Taylor, who a long time career second joined the team with another career second, Jesse Hyen. And they had to make a decision of who was going to make the transition to lead and and Taylor said that she would, and she's doing a fantastic job. Minori Suzuki looking for a hit and roll. Didn't quite get that rock to curl enough. So Casey doesn't really want to roll behind the center line guard. She'd like to roll to the open so open uh, area. Get away from the center line guard. Geez, Taylor did a great job of holding the line on that hit and roll. She's a fantastic sweeper, Taylor. Very strong. So Suzuki's trying to remove that yellow stone. She could go around her center guard. Tricky, rolling towards center. Actually over rolls, so you can see that she's in the hole there. It's tough to get around that corner guard. That's the, you know, that's where Casey would like to go. She'd like to... Uh, Ignore this rock in the rings. It's a tight little port between that center guard and the corner guard. But that's the call. Jesse Hines going to attempt this. She'll need to come quite close to the center guard. And then let the rock finish. Got to get by that center guard first. So looked like actually soft weight on that one from uh, Jesse Hyen and just nowhere close to the right line. Hung straight and racked the guard and now advantage to Kitazawa to make good use of this uh, center line guard and create a force situation. So important draw here for Sena. They're looking to get to that forefoot and get it buried behind their own guard. A little bit strong.
I'm just a little bit heavy. Would have liked that rock to stop in the in front of the T line. So Casey Scheidegger recognizing that uh, this front area is pretty blocked up. So instead of making a play on the, those rocks on the rings and, or even the center line guard, she's going to, to draw around. This is way out there. So a little wide and heavy, and uh, Kate Hogan is not getting much out of that shot. She had her struggles today, or at this draw, I should say. She played very well earlier today in the first game at 10 o'clock. But uh, having a little bit of trouble. Feeling that draw weight today. So, trouble now for Team Scheidegger as Kitazawa now put, is going to try to put another one in here and keep it in front of the T line, put all sorts of pressure on Team Scheidegger. Certainly seems to be a funny little spot as both teams try to, to struggle get getting in behind that uh, red guard. It feels like it's very straight. So for Kate Cameron, she'd like to make good on that first miss and get right to the nose of this rock. There it goes. Beautiful line. And that's a good one. Well done by Kate. Shot stone. And it is, you know, it looks like it's in the port between those two guards, but that is a tight port. Kitazawa is going to try to get around her own red. And really, at this point, if she can block this side, this outturn side, the right-hand side of the sheet, she's basically saying to, to Casey Scheidegger, I don't think you're going to get two points. And she can get right, right to the side of the button and get shot with this draw. So now they're looking down the middle. <laughs> yeah, that it, you know, it looks like that hole is there, but it is really, really tight. Changing their mind, they're gonna try this port. Just good standard practice if you're going to change the shot at the skip to go down to the other end and reset. Put down your ice. There's no room for error on this shot.
this is a very interesting a point in the game. I think uh, Kitazawa needs to think this through. If they play the original call, which is the outturn draw, and they can get close to the forefoot, they, they might even be able to get shot stone. But anything short in that line would make it very difficult for Casey Scheidegger to get more than one point. This shot coming through the hole is very, very difficult. There's just a very, very tight port between those two guards. And if she doesn't make it, she's going to open up the area for Casey Scheidegger to get more than one point. Let's see if she can make it. She's close. Not quite, as I said, it was too difficult a shot. So it appears that Casey is playing the back stone. And I'm a little surprised. Her other choice is to, to draw right on top of her, her shot stone. She's playing the hit and stick on that back one. She will leave an open hit for Kitazawa. Sticks around, sitting two. But there is a hit and roll available for Kitazawa to get underneath that guard. Got quite a bit of room to come across the face and roll underneath the yellow and could uh, take away that second point for Casey Scheidegger. So it looks like they're lining up a number of possibilities. If you play this with any kind of weight, you've got a real possibility that it jams on the back. It doesn't remove this yellow stone and rolls to a spot where Casey can tap it back for three. So I can only imagine that there's lots of discussion about uh, how they may play this stone to avoid that jam on the back. So lots of choices here for Kitazawa. She could play this very softly, just with back 12 weight and try to get across the face and a little roll underneath the guard. She could try to pick it out, avoid that jam on the back and, and give up to, to Casey Scheidegger here in the fifth end with three ends to go. And it appears that she is still debating the kind of weight that she's going to throw. Yeah. 
and it appears that they're they're changing the call. She could also hit the open stone, the, the rock just behind third Nakajima. Also give up the open two. But with this ice, I can only imagine that she's throwing that soft weight. Nope, I'm wrong. She's playing the open hit. So she's going to give Casey Scheidegger a chance for two. So obviously, uh, it took a long time to make that call and has decided that she did not want to take any chances. And here's uh, Casey's opportunity. Draw to that uh, full eight foot, almost four foot for a big two points here in the fifth end. So an interesting end, in my opinion, at uh, Kitazawa playing that very risky shot on her first one, trying to come through a very narrow port and racking on the guard and giving the opportunity for Shy Digger to get a, a multiple score. Got to make good on it. Sweepers are on this one early. They need... Full eight foot, almost four foot. And there's Taylor cleaning this one in. And it's a score of two. Scheidegger a lead, four to two after five ends of play. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. This is the sixth end of the A qualifier. Team Scheidegger leading Kitazawa four to two. Kitazawa in their attempt to set up some guards just hogged their first rock. Tough, tough situation. Lead Taylor McDonald put her first rock right on the button. So putting another one on the center line here. Looking to be tight to the rings, maybe top. 12 foot. 
Just doesn't want to throw a long guard in this situation. There you go. It's not too bad. Ishiguka will try to throw a corner guard on the other side. And this is the lone game out here now. Their other A qualifier was on the sheet beside us. And that was Inji Gim versus Corinne Brown. And it was Gim making the most of it, uh, lopsided score, and they've quit early because, of course, uh, Corinne Brown, the loser of that A qualifier, will go right back on the ice tonight. After this draw, there will be B event games, and you can watch it all here on Curling Stadium. Uh, go to Curling Zone, pick the sheet you want to watch, and you can flip from sheet to sheet. It's just fantastic. For curling fans, for women's sport and women in curling, just to promote all of these teams that are competitive, they sacrifice an awful lot to get to these events. And uh, Curling Stadium definitely gives them an opportunity to uh, show off their sponsors and get a little bit more exposure to their game. Here's Jesse Hyen throwing the center guard. So Scheidegger getting two here, recognize that it's uh, a two-point lead with three ends to go is not enough. They're going to keep the pressure on. They're going to come down the middle and try to force Kitazawa into some difficult shots. They're okay with uh, forcing Kitazawa to one, but they're not willing to hand over an easy two right now. Nori Suzuki playing a little hit and roll. Oh, good sweep and gets that by the guard. And keeps your rock as second shot. So that's a pretty nice result. So Team Scheiger, Scheidegger is still on go. They're called for the tight guard on the other side. Both of those guards a little bit longer, I think, than uh, Jesse wanted them, but the will block off that side of the ice. So double peel is the call from Kitazawa. So throwing that big weight, trying to play that double peel, and it runs straight for Suzuki. She picks out her own. And that is not the result that Kitazawa was looking for. So here's an opportunity now for Team Scheidegger to put another rock into this top 12-foot area. And... Uh, Great chance for Kate. Kate's been having kind of a rough game, and most of her 
Her shots have been just a little bit of wide and a little bit heavy. So a nice chance for her to right the ship here. Get this one tucked in behind those center guards. So line was fine on that one, just a little bit light. So she is making that adjustment. That's that's what you want to kind of see. I, I am the coach. I think I've mentioned it before. Uh, you want to see people make adjustments. If there's a pattern in the way that they're missing, you need to recognize that, become self-aware and change that pattern. And so I, I like that, that uh, Kate just threw one a little bit lighter than what she has been because she has been heavy throughout this game. So third, Nakajima will try to come around that cluster of rocks that are on the center line. I think she can get shot stone here with the, with perfect weight. You can see that outside sweeper trying to make this curl. She had great weight and I think stayed for shot stone. So got the shot stone, but is, is open, is exposed. And you can see Casey's saying, well, let's get rid of that and play soft enough weight, soft enough weight that you could come across the face. So this is, this is a big one for Kate is throw just a little bit more weight and a good release. So Taylor's trying on it to try to make it curl. And the weight is really good. Very well done. She would have liked to have gotten that little inside roll. Uh, but this is pretty good. Sitting two, Team Shy Digger. And Sena Nakajima. It's going to try this, try to get that inside tap and flop. So on this one early. Just a beautiful shot. That's absolutely perfect. A beautiful shot by Nakajima. That did just perfect weight and uh, swept. Held it straight at first and then got the, the sweepers on it to make it curl. Worked fantastic. And so for Casey Scheidegger, her, the thinking now is just play a freeze and uh, hold Team Kitazawa just to a single here in the sixth. So we'll get a, a watch on this, on our speeds here in Leduc. You gotta watch Jessie. Jessie's the has played with her sister her whole life. And when she gets on it early, you know it's not heavy. So yeah, this one's light and over curling. And so a chance for Kitazawa to get another one in there. Casey Scheidegger's had a great game. That's one of her few misses. So that one came up quite a bit light. So 
Now, let's see if Iku Kitazawa can get that weight right. She can come right to her own. I would expect that she's going to be close on this. Yushibai. No, also coming up light. Both skips throwing a little bit lighter. And then they have racking on the guard. It just uh, it does make you wonder whether the, the ice is tightening up a little bit here with the lone sheet. There is no other sheets going on this draw. Makes you wonder a little. So uh, clock. My hog-to-hog uh, -hog was 15.8, 15.8 seconds earlier in the game. I think that would have gone a little bit farther. So a chance for round two now, Casey Scheider, to cap this off, play a freeze, and hold Kitazawa to just one here in the sixth. This is a big shot. You can hear Kate is urging them for line. Well done. So now looking at whether there's an angle raise on the guard. So a tough shot for Iku Kitazawa, sitting her one point. Now, how do you get a second point? Is there enough room to come to the side of the back of the button? You can see Casey Scheidegger's top stone, her freeze, isn't quite biting the button. So there's room on the T-line and just behind the T-line for Kitazawa to get a second point. Now it appears the ice is really starting to tighten up and curl more than it has the entire game. And this is curling. So a score of one for Kitazawa is all she will get. A great shot by Shy Digger to get another one in there. And a little bit changing ice conditions with two ends to go. Shy Digger will lead four to three and have the hammer in the seventh. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your stream curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. 
Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next curling stadium. We've got two ends to go in this eight and a qualifier between Iku Kitazawa of Japan and Casey Scheidegger. Team based out of Alberta here. Kitazawa scoring that one in the sixth and Scheidegger having a little bit of control, looking for the tick shot from lead Taylor McDonald. And that one hit a little bit too thickly. The rocks will be reset. Can't remove rocks from the free guard zone. So tried the tick shot and uh, just hit it a little bit too hard here in the seventh end. And the call for a second center guard. So looking for a really high one to create some separation between these two rocks. So Team Scheidegger in control here with Hammer and a one-point lead. They, they will be playing defensively throughout at least the first half of this end. I would suspect a tick shot will be attempted here. So there's your two center guards. Casey would like to dig out that uh, the tick shot on the center one. And now is calling for just a straight guard. And I think part of this is the how close those two rocks are together for a double peel. That if they don't disturb them right now, there's a double peel lined up down the center line for the next player in line, Jesse Hyen. So the call is to, to keep this one top eight foot, top four foot. And then recognizing that Yeah, I don't know why they'd leave it there. <laughs> okay, this is the coach and me talking. But uh, when it's heavy like that, I think the sweepers have to pound those stones and, and get them through the forefoot and not leave something for the opposition to freeze to. So I believe that was a, uh, you know, definitely a throwing error from, from Taylor to be that heavy, but a sweeping error and not to sweep it all the way to the back. Freeze is the call here for Minori Suzuki. And then I think we're going to see a double peel down the middle. Well done by Suzuki makes the freeze. And Jesse Hyen now in the hack being asked to double peel those rocks down the middle. Uh oh, that was not what they were looking for. So that uh, rock came up a little bit. Perhaps she was just a little bit inside of the broom. That she was trying to get rid of both of those center line rocks and not the double jam. So things looking good for Kitazawa. Get another rock in the top four foot behind a center line guard.
So this appears to have a little bit more weight and certainly a little bit more line. And I think Team Scheidegger just breathed a sigh of relief. I know their coach did. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> Woo, they let you off the hook a little bit. So Jesse gets a second crack at this double peel. Threw the first one a little bit tight. Yeah, and still stuffed this... Uh, that came up a little bit. So it's starting to make me wonder whether they need a little bit more ice down the middle. Things are moving a little bit more. But that, that lack of a double peel is still trouble for Team Shy Digger. Nakajima looking to throw another guard. And this is just what Kitazawa wants. They, they want to clog up this center line. They've got two counters. One biting the button. So a good situation for them. Chance to steal. Well done. And here will be the third attempt at a double peel. This time it's Kate Hogan in the hat, the hack, sorry. I think it's the coach is getting nervous. <laughs> you well, know, that's better. Got rid of two, would have liked to hit that even thinner and try to roll the the, the shooter off as well. But uh, that's just me getting picky. Nakajima is going to throw another guard. It's They're still in the driver's seat here. And uh, setting up for a possible steal. Well-placed guards, two really good ones. And they're talking about running that guard into the shot stone. So Kate liking this shot. She's going to throw a bunch of weight and try to hit this high side, run it into the shot stone and roll that guard off just a bit. Did not curl up enough. So straight peel. That's plan B. So Kitazawa will try to replace that guard and put it in that same spot that Nakajima did. You don't want it super tight to the rings. The tighter it is, the, the easier it might be for Casey Scheidegger to drive it into the shot stone. One higher. And Casey's going to go. 
and try to come in and tap back that shot stone. So needing back eight weight or so. Tap back that shot stone to the back forefoot. And uh, see if she can find a scoring area here. Made a good draw in the sixth end to hold Kitazawa to one. She's going to need a good draw here. This is uh, moving. It's all over the guard. So the unfortunate part for Casey Scheidegger is that left that guard into play and she racks on the guard and it jams and now Kitazawa can put another one in this top forefoot and it's going to be tough for Casey to find a port to score. So all sorts of trouble here for Team Scheidegger. Not able to get those double peels. And now there's trouble with Kitazawa can put another rock in here. This is looking pretty good. It's actually over curling. If you think that if Kitazawa would have been shorter in that line and stayed on that center line side, how, how difficult it would have been for Casey Scheidegger to score. So over curls and is tempting Casey to try to play a hit. There is, of course, the draw available, the same draw that Casey just threw. And she's playing with a tap back weight. You see the line that she's using? Her first one was over curled quite quickly. Casey was a little bit light on her first one. She's just getting some advice from Taylor and Jesse right now. I think they're talking about should we straight draw or should we be playing a tap back weight? So opening up the ice, I think that conversation was about a straight draw. There's nothing wrong with either as long as they commit to it. And there's Jesse. She was cleaning. A little bit heavy, 14-5, so it all depends on her line. And Casey Scheidegger comes to play again. I can tell you last weekend, she saved the team with some draws to the button, and that's a big save here in the seventh. An excellent shot by Casey. 
to get her single and get her team out of all sorts of trouble. Scheidegger will lead five to three with one end to go. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Welcome back to the eighth end of the eight qualifier here at the Curling Stadium Alberta Curling Series Major presented by Co-op and streaming from the Leduc Curling Club. And we've been treated to a very interesting game here between Japan's Kitazawa and Alberta's team Scheidegger. Casey Scheidegger made a fantastic shot on her last to save her team in the seventh i can say this because i am the coach and i was sweating for them um certainly not a clean end played by team shy digger kitazawa trailing by two so looking for that multiple score got the corner guard up and Taylor McDonald makes the beautiful draw right to the top of the forefoot. That's perfect. Their second one is hanging out here a little bit. And it ends up as a tick shot that was not the call. Very fortunate. And Ishiguka will try to replace that corner guard. The team has not put a brush down to it. But it stops in time. Throwing a guard. So this was the same path in the sixth end. And I'm sure the team has already talked about it, that uh, that everyone started coming up light on, light and over curling, light and over curling. So I think that they're, they're making the adjustment that did over curl just a little bit, but uh, there was nothing wrong with the weight. Now, Kitazawa is, is motioning that they're making a play on the rock in the in the rings, the shot's rock in the forefoot. Uh, it 
There's nothing wrong with ticking over the, the guard, the center line guard just thrown by Jesse as well. So just uh, taps it back. Shy Digger still sitting shot stone. So decision time. Do they want to continue to guard down the middle? Do they want to take away that corner, hit and roll towards the middle? Looking for the guard. Yeah, let's try to throw one really tight in the way of the path, that interim path that was just thrown. Definitely a wider line. There certainly seems to be a ridge on that side that if you get a little bit wider on that edge of the eight foot that they'll run, just like Taylor's uh, second stone, the weight was not far off, but it tends to run on a little line if you get out to the edge of the eight foot. And if you take a little bit inside of that, it's a, a spot that'll curl right up to the center line. So very tricky spot there. There's enough room to come through this port in between the two yellow guards. And like I said, then, then they take off. It's just a really, really tricky spot. Casey recognizing there is that that hit and roll from the outside. Kate and, and Casey talking about that entire line on this outturn side. If they play this this draw close to the rings on this line, top eight were Casey's broom on that line, all the way to their their shot stone on that line. Those three spots would be good. The problem is that the the whole end they've been playing on the other side of the ice. It's hard to know what this side might do. So at a minimum, they want tight to the rings, ideally top eight foot. And look at that start to curl. Taylor's on it. That's pretty good. That's exactly where Casey indicated. So there for them to tap up if needed. Enough room for Sena Nakajima to get that hit and roll off the outside. You can see the a very tough double. It's like a tick double to try to redirect off of the, the outside yellow and get shot stone. So I'm going to try to come across the face 
of second shot, that yellow stone, or sorry, third shot, and roll towards the forefoot. You know, that looked good for a long time. Curled up at the end and hit the rock delivered by Kate Cameron, Kate Hogan, I should say. And now moved those all those rocks around. So similar shot here from Kate. I think she's looking for a little bit lighter. Tight to the rings would work. Nothing heavy at this point. This, this house belongs to Team Shy Digger, looking pretty good. I say, uh-oh, that's because the sweepers are not, not putting a broom down. Does not want this heavy and set up some sort of double. But that's what they've got, so they're starting to work with it. Not good. Rock thrown just heavy will now give Team Kitazawa a chance to, to get rid of that shot stone, play the double. So double is available here for Nakajima. No, oh, it's close. Look at it. it. Needs to get close to that guard. And she jams it. So it needed to be tighter. And that'll be Casey's turn to try to throw the guard. Kate's going to just show us where they want it. Guards the call for Team Shy Digger. The two point lead and sitting shot stone. It's a pretty good situation. Here we go. Taylor McDonald on that heavy clean. Line is good. So well done by Casey. Now for Kitazawa, they're kind of desperate times. How can they create a path? To get two and tie this game. So they're looking at all sorts of run backs and angles. That, that wide yellow, or sorry, wide red guard just in front of the global sign. Trying to see whether they could angle that in. It's a mess. 
Not a lot of great opportunities for Kitazawa here. So I'm looking at one of these angles to try to get rid of the top yellow and perhaps leave themselves a different angle to, to raise in there for a second point. So desperate times. Playing an angle raise on their, their wide red to get another red stone in there and change that angle of the, the two rocks that are in the top eight foot on the center line and move them around and get another red stone in there. That's kind of the call here. They don't really have a way to get two. So this is a bit of a desperation. Mix things up around there. Big weight. Great shot. Really good. Just sticks it, angles it right on the top yellow. And now there may be a shot down the middle for Kitazawa to get a couple. So looking to, to guard that red stone, the lone red guard, and try to try to put a rock very high, take away that raise. There's Kate looking at it going, well, is there a shot there? <laughs> you never know in these kind of situations. So a great game by Casey Scheidegger protecting against the, the Hail Mary run back down the middle. So we're looking for a high guard. So she certainly has not overthrown this. They're just trying to get this over the hog line. And I don't blame her for throwing this one quite light. You certainly wouldn't want to line something up down that that on that uh, middle rock. Didn't have a lot of room to play with, but uh, under through that. So this will be interesting. Can they throw some heat down the middle, raise their own guard onto the, the top red, onto the second one, remove shot stone, And is there a chance to split off the back yellow too? You never know on these. So an interesting finish here, the missed guard by, by Casey. Kitazawa making a great angle raise on her first one to, to plant a second red stone. And now she's going to raise her guard back and we'll see what happens. Here it comes. Oh, she just nudges the, the top one, didn't curl enough. It'll be a steal of uh, one by Casey Scheidegger. 
and she will win this A qualifier. Scheidinger will move on to the semifinals noon on Sunday. But uh, tune in if you enjoyed watching Kitazawa. They will play on the next draw. The B event will go tonight, B and C events, through the day tomorrow, Saturday, to qualify six teams at this event for the money on Sunday. So thanks for tuning in, and I uh, hope you tune in again to Curling Stadium. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your stream curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.